okay? Hush. Show me your hands. Do you hear me? Damn. The kid, that's it. Looks clean. What do we do? She'll die here. No time. Get her to the car. It looks like your pupils are responding and your hearing is intact. How are you feeling? When we found you, you had lost a lot of blood. I don't usually believe in miracles, so I assume that your quick recovery is the result of incredible fortitude. Oh, by the way, welcome to Woodbury. I think this is the first time we've ever seen you here. So, you're probably not from around these parts. But don't worry, make yourself at home. So, can you get up? Try to get off the bed. So, can you get up? Try to get off the bed. I'm really glad to see you recovering so quickly. We've saved people from the outside before, but we've practically pulled you back from the brink of death. My name Today, is my economy. Day. I'm taking everything that's not bolted down. Oh, right. Your speech organs seem fine. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but our leader Chris will fill you in on everything better than I can. So, if you're feeling okay already, you can grab your bag and go take a look around. Don't worry. Everyone in Woodbury already knows we have a newcomer. Take care, and get well soon. After you talk to Chris, you can always find me at the infirmary. Don't forget to take your belongings. They're in the bag by the door. Weapons and other equipment, you can check out at our shop. And if you need medical supplies, you'll be able to buy them from me when I return to the infirmary. You must have been thirsty. If you go out again, don't forget to replenish your food and water supplies at Rob's Bar. Distant dream, clear horizon, open seas. Why can't we please? I know why this world's alone. Mistakes that we made.
Whitbear. Hello, you're the survivor we rescued a couple of days ago, aren't you? We were all praying for your speedy recovery. It's good to see you're okay. My name is Chris, and I'm in charge of this shelter called Woodbury. Here, we have gathered all the remaining survivors from New Fortune City and the surrounding suburbs. In Woodbury, we all work together towards rebuilding our society, and any help would be greatly appreciated. Each of us would like to live in a better world. A world where our children can play freely on the streets, where we won't have to live every day in uncertainty and fear of death. This dream is what unites all of us. Get to know the members of our close-knit team to see how everything is organized here. Talk to the weapons trader, Eddie, the storage keeper, Abby, the bartender, Ron, and Dr. Leonard. After you're done talking, come back to me, and in the meantime, I'll register you. Greetings, buddy. I see you finally recovered. Let me introduce myself. I'm Eddie, the weapons trader. It was my guys who found you almost dead out there. Who here wants to get their ass We don't wait. leave people in distress here in Woodbury. Quite the opposite, actually. Here, I've got something for you. This is the Molot Hunter, an excellent rifle. Just needs to be assembled at the workbench. Once you assemble it, you can have it for yourself. It's a gift. With it, you'll have a better chance of making it back home on your own two feet, rather than on a stretcher like last time. No need to thank me. The important thing is that you're alive. The rest doesn't matter. Well, I wish you luck, buddy. If you ever want to buy top-notch weapons and ammunition, or if you want to sell anything you don't need, feel free to come to me. See you, buddy. Run, huh? Hey there. You're the survivor everyone's been talking about lately, right? Glad to see you're okay. I'm Abby, the storage room keeper. It's the safest place in Woodbury, so people use it to store their personal belongings. I can see your backpack is pretty full. Leave the things you don't need right now with me. It'll make it easier for you to move around. Don't worry. They'll be perfectly safe here. Put your things in here. Great. That's the way to go. The storage room is available completely free of charge for all Woodbury residents. Chris registered you, didn't he? Please talk. I think during the apocalypse, the Chris wants you to register as a resident of Woodbury. That's great. We always welcome new members to our community. Just yesterday, we weren't sure if you would be okay. Well, in that case, I need to give you this. It's a GPS map of New Fortune City and its surrounding area. 
It marks all the evacuation points through which you can safely return to Woodbury. Keep an eye on the map. The closer you are to an evacuation point, the safer it will be. According to the rules, I need to wait for confirmation from Chris that you're a registered resident. Once you're done with that, feel free to drop by if you need any medication. All right then. See you later. Take care of your health. See you again. Take care of yourself. You know, Dr. Letterby. Storage is always available. Enjoying your time here, huh? Actually, Chris warned me that he'd be sending you my way to get to know each other. So, I've prepared a little gift for you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I kept this first aid kit for myself, but uh, I haven't been out in a while. And I like you, so take it. Maybe it'll save your life again someday. So, did Chris get you registered already? When you're done, swing by here. I always have good food, drinks, and supplies in case you're heading out. We'll catch up again, pal. Looking forward to seeing you again. You don't have to worry. The safety of Woodbury is under my Great. strict Great. I see you've met everyone. So, what do you think of Woodbury at first glance? That's okay. I understand how you feel. It's daunting to meet so many new people and not know what they expect from you. I hope you've realized that we don't wish you any harm. From now on, the doors of Woodbury will always be open to you. I'm confident that you'll find something to keep you occupied here. I'm ready to tell you more whenever you want. So, now I'll inform the team that you're a registered resident, and from this moment on, all the services provided by Woodbury will be at your disposal. If you want to have your own home, cars, and storage, we are currently working on setting up a small, safe settlement outside of Woodbury. Every one of our residents can move there if they wish. You can get one of the available plots of land right now. You know what? Let me have our guys take you to the settlement. Just head to the exit, and they'll meet you there. And if you have any questions about the land plot, you can ask me anytime. But I won't keep you any longer. Good luck. Feel free to reach out. Oh boy, I'll need a bigger backpack today.
come to your land plot whenever you want. is a beacon of civilization in these towns. You're back. It's great that Chris managed to call you here before you head into the city. And I saw your meager equipment and thought, you've just recovered from an injury. I can't let you go out like this. So I've asked Chris to let me give you a little financial aid from Woodbury in honor of your registration as a new resident. This is enough money to buy another weapon from Eddard, along with ammunition. And I suggest you put what's left in the storage, just in case. No need to thank me. The best thing you can do for us in return is to work with us to rebuild our community. You've probably already received some tasks from the Woodbury residents on your tablet, so don't forget to check them out. And thanks in advance for your help. Just take care of yourself and come back alive, and the rest doesn't matter, okay? That's great. So, do you want to open the storage room, or do you want to talk about something else? See you again! See this scar? Scratched by an infected. Well, soldier, have you registered? I've got something. Till we meet again. Enter the danger zone, collect as much valuable loot as possible, and return to Woodbury. 